To set up your Meraki dashboard to use Umbrella Sig, first of all navigate to Organization, then Cloud OnRamp. In the Cloud OnRamp page, you will then be able to set up your connection to the Umbrella Sig Cloud. Clicking on this button, you can now go ahead and enter the details of the API key required to communicate with the Umbrella Sig Cloud securely. Once we've entered those details, we now go ahead and click on Submit. We'll now notice that the button here we first clicked has turned to a deployments button. Clicking on that button, we can now give our deployments a name, a primary data center, a secondary data center, and if required, protection of our spokes as well. Once we've completed this form, we can go ahead and select Submit. Now we navigate to the Deployments tab to check the two deployments we just created. In our instance, we have the primary and secondary deployments. Next, we navigate to Organization then Overview to verify that both of those connectors have been created. You can see here, they appear down the bottom of our overview. From here, we navigate to the Cisco Umbrella dashboard. Within this dashboard, we can check our network tunnels and see the two we just created. Now we've set up our tunnels, let's go ahead and create a policy. In the Policies tab, let's go ahead and click Add. Here we're going to create a mobile policy, so we'll select Mobile. Here we want it to draw from the default policy. Clicking Next, we will now pick which security settings we want to apply. Again, we're going to draw on the default policy settings to apply to our mobile devices. Moving forward, we're going to pick level of content access. We want this to be a high level of filtering. Next, we move to the Control Applications page. This gives us which applications we want the most control over. Here, we're going to add an extra one around Education. This will update the default policy settings. We will select Proceed. Next, we apply Destination Lists. From here, we will navigate to the next page, which is around File Analysis. In this case, we will keep this on. Next, we're going to set Block Page Settings. In this instance, we'll keep the defaults. Finally, we'll give our policy a name. In this case, we'll call it Mobile Policy. Clicking on Save, we can now see all our policies next to each other, maximizing them for a quick overview and minimizing to see them all next to each other. And that's how you connect your Meraki dashboard to Umbrella Sig.